Hello students, we are now discussing question number 7 of J 2022 advanced paper 1 physics section. So this question says that we have an inductor and a capacitor and these two are part of a circuit such that the area of the circuit is 1 meter square. So I'll first write the information given to us. L is given to be 0 0.1 Henry. C is given as 10 to the power minus 3 farad area of the circuit is given as 1 meter square now this circuit is present in a region of space where there is a magnetic field okay a magnetic field is present in space the question doesn't say that whether it's inward or outward the question simply says that it is perpendicular to the uh, plane of the loop given to us so let's assume that it is inward and this magnetic field is expressed as b naught plus beta t where beta is equals to 0 0.04 tesla per second okay now as this magnetic field will increase with time it will lead to an induced emf in the circuit which can be calculated by using faraday's law that is this emf will be d phi by dt and if i calculate it so it comes out to be d by dt of ba and here we can write it as a into db by dt which is going out to be beta only now if i put the numerical values here we get the value of emf as 0 0.04 volt so this much emf is going to be produced in the circuit okay so we can now consider the circuit as this like we can draw an equivalent circuit like this okay so we have a circuit with a battery uh, with an inductor with a capacitor initially there is no current in the inductor there is no charge on the capacitor okay so that is the situation now we can compare this circuit with a spring block arrangement we can compare this circuit with a spring block arrangement kept in vacuum and on a frictionless surface okay such that at t equal to zero the block is not having any velocity the spring is in its natural length okay the spring is in its natural length so the block actually represents the inductor with m being equal to l the spring represents one upon capacitance okay the fact that there is a battery present in the circuit can be accommodated by assuming that there is a force of constant magnitude acting on the block and this force will serve the role of emf now in under these circumstances we know that what is going to happen we know that this block will start performing shm about the equilibrium position such that the equilibrium position will be at f by k and this will also become the amplitude of oscillation like uh, the block will overshoot this position by an amount equal to x equivalent so x equivalent x equilibrium so it will also become the amplitude of oscillation okay and we also know that uh, in these circumstances like if shm is taking place then v max is given by amplitude of oscillation into omega now this question wants us to find out the maximum current in the circuit so maximum current will be analogous to maximum speed that we can find in this oscillating system so it basically means that i max will be given by amplitude into omega amplitude will be what f by k is the amplitude in mechanics so here it is going to become e divided by 1 upon c so this plays the role of amplitude omega will be root of k by m but we can directly substitute the omega of the circuit we can also go by root k by m if we do that we will end up getting 1 upon lc root of 1 upon lc so that is what we are looking at uh, now we substitute the numerical values e was calculated to be 0 0.04 so 0 0.04 c was given to be 10 raised to power minus 3 and then root of 1 upon L, which is 0 0.1 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So when we finish this calculation, we get 0 0.004 amperes, which is 4 milliampere. So the answer to this question would be 4. I hope you understood the solution, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.